everybody. Uh, it is a cold day here in Tennessee and I am going to be so grateful when spring gets here, which we're not that far off. So it's a good thing. Um, so I had a moment, uh, it, within the last half hour where I read something on my Facebook timeline and, uh, not my personal timeline, but you know, my, my newsfeed that somebody else had posted and it broke my heart. This is not the first time <laughs> that I read things that other people are posting and um, whether it's a political opinion or just, you know, kind of their own state of the union on what's going on in the world. And um, often it's just a reshare of something they see somewhere else that really doesn't have a level of um, educational background to it. I mean, like truth, facts, factual stuff. It's just opinion. And it breaks my heart because so many times these things are done without any kind of love and grace. And being in the middle of our 21 day challenge towards a love revolution, uh, it really, you know, I feel bad. I kind of verbally vomited all over my Facebook page because it just, it's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking. And for, for many, many reasons, but here's my point to all of this is every day you have a stage we live in a world that is highly connected. Uh, social media outlets, avenues, various different things, the people you come in contact with at the coffee shop, people watch you wherever you go. If you don't think they do, then you are not paying attention to what's going on around you. So you have this opportunity. Every moment that you have out there in the world right now is your stage. And you might as well think about yourself when you, every time you type in a status update or, or make some sort of a comment, that's your microphone moment. That's your 15 minutes of fame, in essence. If you think about the people, even just your close friends that you're friended with there, think about the fact that people share things. It may come into contact with somebody that doesn't even know you yet. That is your, your moment to shine. That's your moment to say something that actually matters and makes a difference in somebody else's life. It allows you to plant a seed of love, of forgiveness, of grace, of light, of happiness, of joy in somebody else's life. Don't waste your moment by grumbling and complaining and only focusing on the negative. Yep, you know what? You're absolutely right. There are a lot of things that are wrong in this world. Absolutely 100% things that are not right, things that are not just, but that is life and that is the world. What we do have the opportunity to control is how we choose to look at things. It's our perspective. It is a way that we have to shift the negativity and only focus on the positive. Focus on the good. You want to get people to change. First, you have to start with yourself. And then from there, you push it outwards, right? Do you teach people how to be better people by loving them, by letting them know how valued they are, and that no matter where they've been or what they've done, they are new people. Every single day, you have a clean slate. So let's think about this platform, this opportunity we have to change the world in our status updates. So that's part of the love revolution. So your challenge today and throughout um, the next, well, the rest of the 21 day challenge is think about those status updates. Think before you post. Think about the seeds that you have an opportunity to plant that have them, yeah, they're just so full of power to change somebody's life. That one little tiny seed. And I'm gonna end with this. Uh, it's one of my favorite quotes. And I've actually stolen this from a friend of my dad's. And he said, you can count the number of seeds in an apple, but you cannot count the number of apples in a seed. Think about it. That one little seed can produce multiple, multiple, multiple harvests of apples off of that one tree that it will sprout from that one little seed. You may never see it. You may not think that you're creating a change but the seeds that you plant, somebody else may come along on water and that they will grow and come to fruition. So have a great day and keep spreading the love revolution. Let love.